In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Jesus, Mary, St. Joseph, St. Teresa, pray for us. Happy All Saints Day. And it's such a wonderful day today. It is a holy day of obligation. So we are obligated to go to Mass. You can only take communion if you're in a state of grace. So get yourself in a state of grace. I can't say this fast enough. Vote conservative. Keep yourself in a state of grace. Go to confession. Change your life. Do a real confession, not a fake one. And change your life. Uh, change it for the better. And you'll be happy you did. But anyway, have your rosary, the unborn. We're fighting for our rights for the unborn right now with this election. So re remember to vote conservative. And remember to take communion, kneeling it on the tongue from the priest. I saw someone today took communion, kneeling on the tongue from a woman. And that is not God's plan for the Holy Eucharist. I can't say this enough. The Holy, uh, the sacrilege against the Eucharist is so great in the churches now. It's just really, really a mess. And uh, we have to do reparation for that. So be sure to do that. Go visit our Lord and Blessed Sacrament and, and take communion properly in a state of grace after a lot of prayer and uh, do the best you can with that. You can never go far enough. But anyway, um, so it is a holy day of obligation today. You should not work or go to school, really. I mean, it should be a holiday. It's a holy day of obligation, so we treat it as a Sunday. No buying or selling, no working, no school, stuff like that. Now, can you do some homework? You know, I mean, you got to be a little prudent in what you do. Just don't overdo it, I would say, and because today should be treated like a Sunday. It is a first Saturday. Tomorrow is a first or today's the first Friday, tomorrow's the first Saturday, so I'd get yourself to Mass again, because it's All Souls Day, or All, yeah, All Souls Day, today's All Saints Day. I get them confused. You know, All Souls Day, which is for the Holy Souls, so go see, visit a cemetery if you can. If you can't, uh, then you can just pray at home, but uh, for the Holy Souls, but it's a very special day for them tomorrow, and this is the vigil of, the whole, of all Holy Souls Day, and it's in addition to being All Saints Day, and I was looking, and they had this pantheon where one of the popes put all the bones, uh, relics of the saints under the pantheon, which was formerly a, a pagan temple, and they changed it, converted it into a Christian Catholic uh, center, and it's and it's interesting because they have the words in Latin, and they can interpret what it means. There's abbreviations on there. And it's supposed to be a very old building. You can read all about it. I was looking it up on Wiki, Wikipedia. <laughs> I mean, there might be some better sites to, to look up more about it. In the catacombs, it says it's underneath. But I couldn't find pictures of the catacombs. But I highly encourage you to do some research on that as well. And to get yourself to church. And to remember to keep it holy. May God bless you today, now, and always. In the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. And Asher, remember, Mommy does love you very, very much, and I keep you in my prayers every day.